Hi everyone, in this tutorial, we're going to transform our DOM team to the view team. So I heard a lot of comments regarding the DOM product slider, and I know it has a lot of problems, but this one, I don't think you're going to have one. So what we have here is not just a plain product slider for DOM. What we have here has the two good things about the view team. One is the slider. Two is the zoom feature. So when you have her on the large image, it has a zoom feature on it. And I took off the model for Dawn team and I added some features on it. So the thumbnails can call the large image and then also the slider works as usual. I don't have a number or a counter right here. The radio buttons works as well. So when you click on this one, it should call the thumbnails and also the large image. So like here too, and then whenever the image is attached to the variants or the radio buttons, it should call it. And not only that, when you go to your customizer, you should be able to change the image. Like I have multiple size of image right here. I added a feature that you can change it to square. So all of them has the same size and it should work the same way. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe. First, we have to go to our online store, go to teams. We're not going to edit our live team, but if you do want to edit it, you can click actions and then duplicate your code and edit the duplicated team. What I have here is a DAWN that is not customized yet. So we'll use this one. So click actions and then edit code. And then let's make our um, screen bigger. So click this button right here. So we need to go to our section folder and then we're gonna look for main dash product. So main dash product liquid. And then we're gonna go to our website and copy this code, just click to copy. And then we're going to erase this whole code right here. So control A to highlight and then delete it and control V to paste and then click save. Now we have to go to our CSS folder. So we need to add our CSS file. So we're going to close the section and then we'll go to asset and we're going to add a new asset and create a blank file. And this one we're going to call product dash slider and then add a new asset and then let's locate our product um, dash slider here and open it so here so we're going to go to our website again and we're going to go scroll down so you know that you already copied it because it turns blue and then when you hover it should be pink and then click this one to copy and then paste this code right here. Control V to paste and then click save. Almost done. Last thing we have to do is go to our global.js. So down here in the asset folder, we are still in the asset folder. We're going to go find the global.js and we're going to look for slider. Control F and go for slider component. So we have it here. Now we're going to go to our website again. So we're going to go scroll down and then we're going to copy this code. This is a very important code. So don't forget to copy this copy. And then we're going to paste it after the next button. So right here, control V. Make sure you paste it after the next button and before this, um, if this statement. And we're going to go back to our website again. And then what we're going to do is to replace our on click button. So right here, make sure you still have the bracket right here. I'm just going to fix it a little bit. So we're almost done. Last thing we have to do is to update our image. So we're going to go back to our website again and then grab the code right here. And then we're going to go to our volume select and we're going to look for the update media. So this is our update media. So when you click here, 
So this is the end bracket for the update media. And we're going to paste the code before the window set timeout. So just paste below this bracket right here. Control V to paste. So you make sure you paste it before the window and click save. And I believe that's it. So let's preview our code. So right here, I'm going to try the shirts again. Yeah, that's working. And this is our mobile view. And it should work with our mobile as well. And that's it. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.